My name is Srividya Sandosh and in this episode of Career Talks with Sri, you are going to learn everything about genetics. Genetics is a course that can be pursued directly after your grade 12. There are courses like BSc Genetics and BTech Genetic Engineering. And if your plan is to pursue this course in the master's level, that is also possible. You have MSc Genetics and MTech in Genetic Engineering. Now let's see what this course is and why should you learn genetics? What are the job opportunities that are awaiting you if you are completing this particular program? I would say it was back in 2013 or 14 that uh, Angelina Jolie came out with an announcement. She said that she has done a double mastectomy and people got confused. She was not detected with cancer, but why, should, why did she do that? Then she announced that she did some sort of a genetic testing which said that she had higher chances of getting breast cancer and that is why she removed both her breasts. People got a lot perplexed. What sort of a technology is this? If somebody is caught with some sort of a disease, obviously you can find it with some sort of testing, right? But how can you know that some sort of a disease is gonna come? That was quite confusing. And this was a research benefit of genetics. Angelina Jolie's mother, she died because of ovarian cancer and breast cancer. And she lost both her, I think, grandmother and aunt because of breast cancer. And that was when she thought, if my blood relatives are having these type of problems and they have died because of cancer, my chances are also high of having cancer. And that is how she went for this testing and further after this testing, she removed both her breasts. So what I wanted to tell you was, this is one sort of um, research benefit that came out of genetics or genetic engineering. Now, why are we learning genetics? Don't think that like genet we learn genetics only to find out whether we have some sort of a problem or if we will get caught hold of some sort of a disease. No, it's not just like that. It has got so many things. When you learn genetics, you learn biological variations, you learn mechanism of leaving bodies, you learn heredity, you learn how the genes are passed over generations. Do you know that probably the eyes, nose or even the ears that are sitting in your face may be resembling to your great grandfather or great grandmother. How did it happen? Come on, it is genetics. The genes has passed over through the generations. But how did it happen? Do you want to learn the science behind it? If so, you should be learning genetics. When you learn genetics, you'll be learning a lot of things. The syllabus includes biochemistry, it has got bacterial genetics, it has got molecular biology, cloning, also something called RDT, which is recombinant DNA technology and so many things as such. Please don't think that these are the only things that you will learn when you take up a course in genetics. It, these are some of the things that you will be learning while you do this particular program. Now, there are so many electives that you can take while you do your genetics program. So many electives are available right at the bachelor's level and the master's level. Now, don't think that like if you want to pursue a master degree course in genetics, you should have pursued bachelor's in genetics itself. No, even if you have taken some of the basic science programs, you can pursue a genetics master degree program. But if you're planning for a MTech in genetic engineering, then obviously you should have done engineering program in your bachelor's level. Just with an BSc program, you won't be able to do a MTech program. But with BSc, you can BSc chemistry or like any other science programs also, it is possible for you to pursue a genetics in master's level. But it all depends on the university's admission criteria. So I would always request you to check with the university where you are planning to take the admission because each university will have a different eligibility criteria. The popular electives, as you see in the screen, there are a lot. Um, whatever you like, you can pursue as an elective of this program. Now, if you see the course details, eligibility obviously is plus two science and the duration of the program I've mentioned is three to four years because if you are pursuing a BSc program, it is going to be three years and if it is an engineering level program, it is going to be four years. And some of the BSc level programs of genetics is four years. It's not three years. That is why, again, I want to stress this point that you have to always check with the university and their conditions that they set forward. 
as you know the latest nep okay when it uh, came out it clearly said that most of the programs of india especially the bachelor degree programs are going to be four years even now you can find a lot of programs in india in bachelor's level in four years so genetics in some colleges the bsc level program is four years so please check that now when it comes to entrance examination there is no national level single entrance examination which will help you to get a seat in genetics it all depends on the institute that you are planning to pursue so check with them check with the university what their admission criteria is if they say that like you should write a particular entrance for getting into their program then obviously you have to give that entrance examination now higher studies obviously higher studies is available even after completing bsc genetics you can go for your msc genetics and further after that you can get into research so many things you can go for your phd and after btech uh, genetical engineering also you can pursue your mtech and post studies is also available for this particular program now where all can you get employed after completing your genetics program i would say please don't stop your studies right at the bachelor's level it won't help you to climb up the career ladder so if your ambitions are high always set forth a few number of years after your grade 12 it's, it should not just be through your four years wherein you can complete only your bachelor degree do at least your master's degree and if possible do your phd too so that you will be able to get into some higher positions where all can you get employed at if you look into the industries you have animal and breeding industry you can get employed at the agricultural firms obviously forensic department dna forensic department is one particular department that employs the people who have completed genetics program so you have possibilities there your possibilities in cosmetic labs genetic testing labs healthcare centers pharmaceutical industries also the food processing industry these are the few of industries that will help you to get a job and what are the different positions that you can get in there are so many positions that you can get in after completing your genetics program and some among this i would say are quite interesting okay let me explain you what genetic counseling is you would have heard about like life counseling career counseling behavioral counseling clinical counseling but what in the world is genetic counseling which you can do after completing your studies in genetics there is something called genetic counseling and in some of the hospitals you will find a person uh, called as a genetic counselor um okay just think of the case of angelina jolly once uh, she did a genetic testing or her genetic profiling there would have been somebody who would have sat with her and explained what possibly can happen to her right now that person is called a genetic counselor genetic counselor is that person who will go through the genetic testing in detail and will sit with the people and explain them what can happen and what are the possible preventive measures that they can take to avoid these problems probably something which is related to cancer risk or uh, uh i would say heart attack risk so many things are there right so once you do, do this genetic testing you will know what are the problems so accordingly like you can plan your health or plan your lifestyle this is what a genetic counselor does now don't think that genetic counseling is the only option that you can get in after completing your genetics there are so many things which is explained on the screen but i have explained in detail just about one position that is it many people after completing programs in core science subjects and then maybe like a rare sort of science topics like a genetics or an industrial chemistry or a polymer chemistry a lot of people think that the only thing that they can get into is research now let me tell you this thing very clearly it is not just research that you will be able to get in there are so many positions that you can get in uh similarly like counseling genetic counseling when it comes to genetics same like that for various courses that you take don't think that research and teaching would be the only options that you would be able to end up there are so many things that you can do after these courses so if there is someone who is planning to get into this industry please make sure that you study science subjects for your grade 11 and 12 specifically physics chemistry and biology and if you're planning for an engineering program right after 12th make sure you have also studied mathematics in your grade 12 
Hope you have got a clear idea about what this is. If you have any confusions regarding the same, please make sure that you send in those questions as comments below this video. And also share this video to your friends so that they will also be getting benefited because of this. See you in another video. Goodbye.